Kanyeza, meaning let there be light. It's a phrase South Africans wish they could say as the country faces an energy crisis that's resulted in regular power cuts, called load shedding, of anywhere from two to eight hours a day. For Goldfield's South Deep Mine outside Johannesburg, it's meant the development of this solar plant couldn't be timelier. From year one, we're saving, you know, 130 odd million rand a year on electricity. I think the other real benefit is, though, is, is business interruption that we're eliminating. So uh, we, we, we've been impacted by load curtailment. Uh, we start getting a more reliable source of energy, which keeps our, our business continuity. And Experts say the energy crisis is the result of years of missteps and mismanagement at the monopolized national power utility, ESCOM. Both new and aging coal plants are experiencing regular breakdowns, and ESCOM has failed to significantly invest in other reliable technologies to meet the growing demands. And I think a lot of what's happening in the, in the country is a result of some sort of reluctance to uh, move decisively forward with uh, building of solar and wind simply because uh, it, it means that other technologies are not are going to lose out. Other technologies being coal, which the country also mines, as well as nuclear and, to a degree, natural gas. Rather than waiting for the country to resolve its conflicting energy interests, which are also muddied by politics, the mining sector is increasingly taking matters into its own hands. They can no longer rely on ESCOM as the sole supplier of electricity. And for this, there is more of a consensus to say that by 2025, uh, at least 20 to 30 percent of the electricity that is being supplied to different mining houses, they have to be generating it by themselves using different forms of renewables. Wind and solar account for just 7 percent of power generation nationally. Even without an energy crisis, Nwila said companies with mandates to reduce their carbon emissions are uneasy about the grid's reliance on coal. South Deep says its targets of net zero by 2050 was a major factor to install the 50 megawatt solar field and start planning a wind farm. Decarbonisation is absolutely vital for our world. There's overwhelming evidence that if we don't address the carbon crisis in the world, uh, you know, we, we, we're driving the world to extinction. So we want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Experts say the rise of renewables among the economic heavyweight mining could steer the transition nationally for other industries and the grid, although it would result in major losses in customers and income for debt-ridden ESCOM. Either way, a major shift in power generation won't happen overnight. Solar farms like this are not a one-size-fits-all solution, but companies say as South Africa's energy crisis gets worse, it makes sense not only for the environment, but financially too. Linda Giftash for VOA News, Johannesburg.